Good morning, everybody. My name is Chrissy. Welcome to my corner. I have my copy. And this is Flossmas number two, babies. Flossmas number two. So welcome in and uh, thanks for hanging out with me. This is going to be a shorter episode. I'm pretty low energy. We had a big thunderstorm last night and my dog kept me up all night. He needs constant cuddling during thunderstorms. And so I am tired, <laughs> very tired. And uh, you'll notice that this video is also not edited and they will not be edited in the foreseeable future. My extra new cord came from my computer and my computer still did not turn on. So there is definitely something internal happening with the cord. I'm gonna take it to the, to the PC doctor on Monday. And uh, hope for the best, hope for the best. So today's gonna be pretty low key. We've already, you know, figured out plans. And it's going to be very little happening today. It's Saturday, so very little can happen today, which is nice. Um, but what I do plan on doing is my stitching on my Forbidden Fiber Co. Advent calendar, uh, Advent pattern. This is uh, from Forbidden Fiber Co. It is a uh, Christmas Carol themed. Christmas Carol themed. So yesterday we got the fabric, which is called Counting House. And that's what it looks like. And today we have the first floss and the first part of the pattern. So let's do the floss first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Christmas yet to come is what it's called. So here's what it looks like. It's like a nice dark gray, uh, no variegation at all. This is a really solid, solid dye. And who doesn't love a gray on a mustard? Love a gray on a mustard. So let's look at the pattern. I'm not gonna show you the pattern because obviously I don't show patterns on my channel. And there's probably not a, um, there's probably not like a picture to go with it. So the name of the pattern is, Honor Christmas, and it looks like it is a, a border. Looks like a border with a little something something. Yeah, so it's mostly border, almost all border, in fact, with a tiny little something something at one point that has no actual connection to a real thing. <laughs> so I have no idea what it is. So there you go. So that's, um, that is the stitching for today. And then I also have my little, my little Ulta advent, my little Ulta 12 day advent. We're just gonna do it the first 12 days because I am impatient. I love this box. I just think it's super cute and I'm going to have to figure out something to do with it. Like I almost want to make, I almost want to make, you know, those like book nook things. I, I bought one like a kit, but how cute would this be to like open it up and see a scene? <laughs> I really want to do that. I really want to do that. All right. Uh, but for now I am going to open up day two. And I thought it would be really funny if I took everything and like wore it all at the same time on my face. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because that takes energy and I would have to take it all off before I could like do anything else. But you know, all right. So it's in this and I don't know what it is. And I don't know why it's like wrapped up like this. It's blush. So I don't actually wear blush. This happens to me all the time. I, you know, when I do beauty things, I often get blush, but I'm so rosy and I don't wear, I, if I wear a foundation, it's, I don't need to be hitting myself with that. It's super light foundation. So my, my natural rosiness shines through. So I actually never wear blush, but this, I feel like blush with this, um, from yesterday 
could make a really pretty eye eye situation. Can you put blush on your eyes? Is it like a different formula? I have no idea. I should probably Google that before I put things next to my eyes. Anyway, that's my that's my advent for the day. I'll deal with that later. Uh, and then I just wanted to show you, I had mentioned my four for 44. I'm going to do four fully finishes before my 44th birthday, which is on December 28th. And my first one I mentioned is going to be a Biscornu, and it's this guy. So this guy I'm going to make into a Biscornu. I've never made a Biscornu before, and that's part of the rules. The rules are that I have to finish four things in ways I've never finished things before. And I've done a Biscornu. So I'm going to take him, make him into a Biscornu, and I think I'm going to back him with this fabric. Isn't that great? Medieval Monsters. I got this on Spoonflower, so I only have a yard. And I don't know what else I could make into. I kind of, I think, I think I got it just to kind of see and to make like project bags or something out of, and then I never made project bags out of it. In fact, I haven't made project bags in years, but I do have a project bag idea <clears throat> that I might work on this, this month. It's sort of a, it's sort of a complicated project bag pattern for like a travel project bag. That I've been thinking about. But anyway, and I got this to make project bags uh, and then I didn't. So I'm going to use it to back my score new. I have a yard. I don't know if I said that. I have a yard and so I'll only be taking a little bit. So if I want to make project bags with it, I still can. So that's the plan and I think that it will work really nicely. I have crushed walnut shells and I have um, wool roving. So wool roving is really good in like pin cushions because the lanolin from the wool, even the little bit of remaining that's on processed wool actually coats the needles and prevents rust. So if you have, if you're, if you have wool, if you're like a spinner and you have like extra wool, uh, save it for pin cushions because it will help prevent your, your needles from rusting. Fun fact. Um, I think that that might be all for today. Oh, I wanted to tell you. Oh, two things I want to tell you. Number one, I didn't bring them out with me, but my Flossmas giveaway from 2022, I still had all my international peeps to send out to. I sent those out yesterday morning before yesterday's video. I forgot to mention it yesterday, but those are in the mail. I have sent those out. It's only been 10 months, but I have sent those out 10 months late. So if you are an international, per, if you are someone international, Canada and the UK are, I think, the only two. Um, but I have five packages that are going international for folks who won my Flossness giveaways last year. And I just had like a block, but now they're out. I still have two more packages to send out. I have a package to Joe, which is my stitched bird from last year, and that's going out this month. And then I also have an ornament for Danielle that I promised, and that's going out this month too. So those are being sent out in the near future after, you know, my semester is completely done and my computer is taken care of and stuff like that when I have time to think about going to the post office again. Yeah, so that's, I'm really proud of that. Uh, so, and I know this sounds really stupid, but I have this like anxiety around the post office for some reason and I don't know why. I don't know why. So I'm really proud of myself that I got those out and that I don't have to think about them anymore. And they are out in the post office and out and ready to go. I also sent out my book uh, themed stitchy swap that uh, Heather, Link is my homeboy, organized. I sent that out yesterday too. So I need to take a picture of that receipt and send it to Heather so she knows that I sent it out on time. All right. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is yesterday I mentioned that I was doing a craft fair at my local arts council and it was for a wassail fest, which is where businesses make wassail, which is a spiced apple cider, uh, often has like pineapple juice and oranges and all different things in it. And there's a contest obviously, because everything's a contest and you don't win, you win bragging rights, essentially you win bragging rights. <laughs> so it's a really fun contest. But everyone comes, everyone in town, come up. people come from other towns to do, it's like the most fun thing that my town does. And I love it so much. So I'm on the Columbus Arts Council board and I, I said, why don't we do like a little craft fair in the Arts Council space during Wassail Fest? Uh, it's a small, you know, they get a small fee. It's a small fee 
but they make a couple, a little, a little money uh, for the arts council. Um, Santa's there. Santa was at the arts council. And so we had, I think 10, nine or 10 vendors in the building. And it was amazing. There were so many people. Everyone did really well. I did really well. So now my, my income from last night will pay for my fixed computer, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I, it was really nice. It was good to talk to everybody. I saw people I hadn't seen in a while. I saw one of my student chicks. Okay. So I've been a college professor for eight years and I, I love most of my students and they're, you know, I, I get really close with my students, but those first ones you have, like your first students, when you get there are always kind of special. And so I had coffee with one of them uh, a couple weeks ago and another one came to the arts council and it was so nice to see her. And I am just so thrilled that I'm just so, so thrilled to see her. So I saw one of my, one of my chicks, I saw other students, I saw colleagues and friends and so like that. So anyway, it was just a really joyful, joyful evening. And I made a couple hundred bucks that will hopefully pay for fixing my computer. So that's, that's that. Um, okay. So this, that's all I have. And, um, I'm going to stitch on this with my Forbidden Fiber Co. Christmas Yet to Come. And I will show you my stitching tomorrow. With all that, I want to wish you a happy Flossmas. I will see you tomorrow for Flossmas number three and another little gift. And uh, yeah, so take good care of yourselves and have a good one. Bye.